This is historic Fort Vancouver right here. Um, I don't know why I'm feeling so inspired. Spring. The list. This is the list I've been working on for a while. I'm like, I need to get out. It's such a nice. It's supposed to rain today. I mean, weather inspires me again. I should be cycling. Here I am making another video, but doing it outdoors. Let's do this. So for lighting to work with me, here we are. I'm gonna have to do it this way. I hope sound picks up. It did fine last week. This is a lot of the busier area. Let's see how it goes. I never draw any attention to myself. Somehow this camera's magic. People just surround me. I mean, I've been to these places I've shown you the last couple of weeks hundreds of times. And I've never had this many people just come around. I mean, I'm in the, there are people visit these places, but I'm in the remote place. By biking by nobody is ever there. That camera just attracts people. You single people. You gotta try and find a camera people flock to you. I don't want that personally. Here we are. Now my notes are on here. This is my viewing thing. Oh I hope this picks up. Alright guys, I wanted a top florals list. You know me, I changed things up. This is a different channel. Top five florals. It's spring. Florals here. I'm gonna try to drown out the airplanes. I'm buying an airport. We'll see if my little uh, software work does good for that, but um, if not, it'll be a voiceover and you won't even know. As I sample after sample, I've been through over 100 samples now, and I've searched, and I've searched for better stuff, and I was putting together a list for spring, and I can't take these off of there, so this just, this ended up being an original door list. And what I was thinking about it was the video where um, you guys saw the video where I talked about Russian, I think it was Koyanor, that um, everybody knows Riz Lador, Ud Luwak, Russian Ud. If he puts Ud in the name, let's flock to him and whatnot. Um, I did too. I myself do. I'm guilty of that. Also Russian Musk, that was the name I was drawn to. But what I found from the house is my favorite ones. Are actually, and don't get me wrong, he's an oud master, he's a master distiller. This guy is a master at florals, he's a modern master at florals. I, I give me a house, give me a house. I, I told you, I've been saying this, another uh, maybe the reviews haven't come out yet, but uh, I've recorded them already. Put one of his on one arm, put the one you're talking about on the other arm. There is no comparison at the quality that this guy is putting on your skin. Designers to put this quality on your skin, even if they attempted at getting distilled to this level, easily 10 times the amount. That, that's what, that's a $3,000 bottle killing? It's not gonna happen. They're so focused on their synthetic accord and pushing infra that this true mastery is getting lost. So if my channel can do anything, that's what I'm going to push. In my little corner world, I have nothing to lose. There's no monetary thing for me here, so I can say what I want to say. This this is what I found by smelling this stuff. I didn't know a reason the door existed when I started this journey. I didn't know the Eastern perfumery. I didn't know what oud was when I started this journey and went down this road. I knew essential oils. We're not even talking about essential oils now. I'm talking about, like... People, oh, your therapy friend should do essential oils. This is the stuff I want to push right here. What we're getting into now. What are Reese Lodor's doing? I want to push him going as far as he can. The apex, the, the apex of florals is here. It's in these five ones. Top five florals. Put your nose on something else versus these. There's just no comparison. I'm talking about raw ingredients. We're not talking about composition. We're just talking about ingredients that speak for themselves here. That, that's, I'll get that out there. Just give me something, I'll buy it. I, 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 I'll spend the money on it. I thought strange love was gonna be the answer. It, not even close, maybe for an hour. That's it. That turns into synthetic 
whatever. The ingredients being used are at an Olympic level compared to everyone else. I keep talking about this because if you're looking for an experience that transports you to the very earth that these ingredients were going from, this is it. You put your nose on these fragrances, I can smell the flower from which it was grown. This is just a melting experience that transports you to the part of the to the part of the world of the dirt where these flowers are from. I've tried to look, I've reviewed the masks. This is where it's at. There are other brands that are doing very, very good compositions. But this is where it's at for ingredients. This is the apex. Just the smell from the bottle is enough to get transported and have in your collection. Three of these five ones that I'm going to review today are still available. I mean, I should work for just the door for how I feel. And again, the reason I'm pushing, I want new products from him. I want him to go even further in his perfumery and his compositions. I want him to go even further in the distilling. He's putting ingredients in there that nobody's even touching. He's distilling in ways that nobody's touching. Maybe in the East they do, but as far as what I can buy and what I know of and what I'm educated about, this is it. I've, I've looked at tons of Atar houses. I've emailed tons of Atar houses. They don't get back to me. This distilling is at another level. The scary thing is, is Russian Adam hasn't even shown us his peak. And he's he started talking to me a bit. And like I said, my whole mission is to push his business, sell out, get his next things out. I, I see his fat passion. I feel his passion. I see him. He sees me. We're after the same thing. Real good perfumer to share with the world. I'm not kidding. When he shows on IG and he, he puts sprays in the air and says he's sharing with the world, I f solely feel that from him. I smell that from him. It's in his bottles. Yeah, here we are. So, yeah, there's a big preface here because it, it's justified. It's worth it. I'll stand by it. 100%. Yeah, this is He's definitely the floral king. He brings florals to perfumery like I've never smelt. He's in introduced me to different levels that they can be. There are a couple houses that have compositions and have done particular things with one ingredient that I'll talk about on the channel. But as far as putting in floral after floral after floral, mixing and blending them and letting a nude be the carrier for them, I don't know of any. I'll be, I'll put it out there. I'm not versed in vintage perfumery, but I've put my nose on everything I can on what's available on the market. I mean, drop it in the comments, challenge me. I'll try it or tell you if I've tried it. This is where we're at. All right, let's get into this. The go bag. You guys remember that one? This one uh, started it because this is one of the only two that was available from this collection. Endless. I hope this focuses in. I can't tell, guys. Otherwise, we'll just put bottles up. This introduced me that flowers can be animalic. It started it all. Again, I only bought it because it's one of the two available. It was a blind buy. I didn't know what I was getting into. I was, I was hoping for oud at this point. I was hoping for oud fragrances. Not even kidding you. That's what I was hoping I bought. I remember smelling it. And I'm like, this is earthy and grassy. And I thought tons of stuff smelled like this. I'm like, I just dropped a ton of money. I still haven't smelled nothing like this. I cannot believe it's available still. And it, it's because I bet if it's called Endless Oud, it'd be sold out. I'm going to read what he put on this one. This is the only one I'm going to read from him. The composition opens with the rarest, most costly jasmine extract known to man. Indonesian jasmine, enfleurage, delicate, soft, and virginal, yet with an indolic, almost animalic touch. Absolutely animalic touch. This enfleurage represents the scent that is closest to the true aroma of night-blooming jasmine flower. It's further boosted with distilled oil, gardenia blossoms, while piercing even more animal. This adds unmatchable layers to the top notes. Sharp Indonesian jasmine, absolute soft and rolly from T Tunisia, provide a foundation for the bouquet 
of top notes, causing them to last and shine through the entire composition. The heart of the perfume was not only blended, but co-distilled by Adam. Pineapple, ginger, lime, and tangerine were placed together in a single boiler and cooked to blend essences to be released and infused one another, bringing to life a totally unique aroma, then blended into rare romantic green hosiery frankincense, distilled by Russian Adam. Using water from the Alp Mountains, Alpine water with its minerals and unique chemical composition comp contribute to an unmistakable signature. Pristine, crystal clear, airy, and fresh makes delicate scent of the green hosiery frankincense. Even softer, pure, more refined. I read all this. I'm very careful what I read on here. I don't want to just read stuff. I've talked about this. People charge a nine, ten dollars an email. They don't give you this much information on ingredients. When you smell this and read it, it connects. It's a hundred percent true. Nobody is doing this stuff. Nobody. Special fragrance. That reason it's in my collection. I can't believe it's still available. Unbelievable. Next one. I'll always be talking about this fragrance. Check that out. I hope we have focus. Bottle number seven. I paid 40 extra dollars for this fancy cardboard case. Last bottle. You don't have to, it's available. I sniff this all the time. This is my most stiffed guitar. It, it's special. I wear it on very special occasions. It, um, it's about two people meeting, joining Russian Adam and his wife. Again, you feel every bit of that in there. Special fragrance. Notes on, on this. Yellow Chimpaca, distilled by Russian Adam, Magnolia Auto, Absolute, Royal Bengal Oud, Tobacco Absolute, Indonesian Cocoa, Saffron Cinnamon, Siberian Deer Musk, Vetiver Absolute, Labyrinth, Pure of Basil. This isn't a review on fragrance. This is a special fragrance. This introduced me to narcotic elements of florals, unbelievably. That introduced me to the I mean, Walama special, it, um, it's available, get it. I mean, yeah, you have to like the florals that are in there, but it, it, I've, I've smelled the champ packet and other things. I've never smelled, smelled it this pure and good. Just opening this bottle all the time is, is worth it itself. It, it's worth having this guitar. I don't regret, oh, I don't regret this at all. So about this, um. I'll call people out on hyperbole. I did in my last video on this. He contacted me personally, straightened it out. I put it up in the comments section. I'll say it here. So, I mean, he, he had an extra badge and he caught somewhere where he wasn't uh, saying there's one of 100. He said he'd make more crystal bottles he had to or release um, them in a different format, which he did. He decided to reduce costs for people. Again, he could charge the same price. It's going to sell out. And he's not. He didn't, everything he'd done, the price justifies, I mean, we are talking over $5 an ML at times. Hands down, it's worth it all day long. He's transparent. It, 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 it's everything I'm asking for. When you go up four bucks an ML, we're not even at 10 bucks an ML. Well, um, well this is a guitar, so it doesn't count price differently, but yeah. All right, guys, next set. 34. This is number 95 I got. I have seen a bottle at 128, so I don't know. I, I forget what this goes up to. This, I talk about snapshots in the brain. This is the third time I put on a video. Every time I smell this, I get snapshots of the days I've worn this. I don't know how my brain works like that. It never has without perfumery before. It's a new thing to me I'm discovering with perfumery, but I smell this and I have, and I, I only wear this on special, special occasions where things happen in my life. It's a spiritual thing. And, um, I mean, I, I don't know they're going to happen that way. So I put them on and, and it just seemed to happen. And it's now a trigger, a memory of a powerful spiritual event that's happened in my life. I know a lot of you guys aren't spiritual. I don't mean to be, I'm just sharing my experience. That, that's a side of the point. That's what it is for me. Some of you are. Some of you get what I'm saying. 
I mean, really, if there's a thing such as having to earth uh, a transportation, this is it for me. It, it's one of those sets for me. Not kidding. This was available for the longest time, too. So I got lucky. It was the only one available from that collection. And it's almost my favorite. Definitely don't want anyone, expect anyone to understand the heaven to earth comment, but uh, I know some people do. It, it's just there for me. I mean, notes of this are Rue of Jasmine Sandbag, Yellow Friend Japani, Tuberose Absolute. This made me love Tuberose, and this doesn't even smell like a, the Tuberose that, that I'm used to now. It, it's way different, more like how he described it, Jasmine. In Indolence, it's, it's like this night drunken tuberose, dark version of it. Cambodian oud, 10 years old. You, you can't even tell that there's funky oud in here. Sumatra and oud soaked in coconut water. The di again, distillation pro. This isn't oud. M most companies that do put real oud in their companies, they're not getting their hands on this quality oud. There's a big, big difference of the oud that they're getting between. And that's why I guess these distillers are like, let's put our mouth where our money is. Let's just perfume. Our, let, let's we, we, we know we have the best ingredients. Let's just perfume. They are lucky to be able to share in that experience. I, I, I seriously call it sharing. I know I've dropped serious money on it. It is a pleasure. It, it is definitely sharing something special with the world. That's how I really feel about it. Uh, progress the notes on this. Sorry, guys. Cut this off. Indian Amber Shema Tar, aged for more than two decades. Siberian Deer Musk, you can't even tell. Castorium, Blue Lotus, Honeysuckle, Henna Infusion, Better Bertolu Balsam, and Benzoin. This is one of my favorite perfumes I own. Blue de Fleur. Special. All right, you guys probably already know the other two, the collection. <laughs> Malik Ate. The Rose of Roses. Not a red rose. I thought, I, I don't know rose at all. As soon as I smelled this, I don't know rose at all. This, this is brand new. Transparency of ingredients. Let's get into that. I mean, he literally tells you there's 40% rose in here. So he's forgetting the infra stuff that's ruined the perfumery, in my opinion. And he is totally telling you time and day this is picked by the delicate hands this is picked by the perfect part of the flowers it's picked. You smell it, I believe him 100%. Again, he's a floral master. Not even kidding. Trying to change scenery up a bit. <laughs> Last one, Koenor. Code is still the Nikhil talked about very much this is about a distillation of lemon on the top how he gets lemon to smell like this i have no clue um this is like almost like uh, my favorite kind of lemonade still sour but cut in just the perfect way to where it's still sweet and yummy it's got everything going on with the lemon the, la the flowers are definitely the stars, but that lemon just puts a top on them that's unbelievable. It's um, it's like all sorts of lemonade. And now I love Ylang Ylang lemonade. It's one of my favorites. Now, Jasmine lemonade is one of my favorites. No, Champak is definitely the fave lemonade. Who am I kidding? It's a combo all of all three. They shine. Vibrantly sweetened with a crust of sandalwood nude. They're only there as a carrier. Don't overtake it. They play in the top part and base perfectly as a base layer. I see many, many other perfumes struggle to do this. It's done so perfectly here. It enhances the entire experience. In the notes, he distilled the lemon himself. Ylang Ylang, Gardenia, Jasmine, Champaca, Patchouli, a really good patchouli. No sharpness at all. This is pure earth. Tonka bean, 30 year old oud, Mysore sandalwood in this, distilled by him. Benzoin, crude amber, tuberose, tuberose of tar, and jasmine sandback. Absolute. I reviewed it on the channel. I don't need to go any deeper. 
those are my five spring florals. I don't know of anything better for florals. Challenge me, put it in the comments. And I, I get these aren't for everyone. I mean, these are strong, strong perfumes. They're extra. You don't need much of them. I just couldn't do a different list. So there it is, guys. Peace out. Hope you hope you guys enjoyed the scenery being out here again. Peace out. I'm gonna take you around a bit. You guys be blessed. All right, and just a circle here. We have the old, all the old homes are beyond those that tree line up there. You can barely see them through the trees. Nice, fancy old officer. It's officers row up there. Uh, there's a restaurant now in one of the homes. They've turned them into some offices. Uh, great place to visit. Very historic place here. Here's the old Pearson Airfield. Army Air Corps. And then we do, I guess it has been, they've quit it. I think they brought it back. Biggest fireworks show west of the Mississippi is right here at Fort Vancouver. And then there's the the fort, that, that fence line there. They've kept intact the buildings in there. You can go in, walk through them, check it all out. And then if you can see this little path here, that's what I ride my bike on and go past. This is where I finish my rides is over here. I, I didn't I didn't even mean to do that, but yeah, in two weeks I took you on almost everywhere I go for for the quick rides. Actually, no, this is one of my other quick rides, but there you guys go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.